Rose Kime from Amber's. Amber, thank you for buying the fossil wallet. She loves her fossil. She is a fossil hoe bag. <laughs> um, she bought a few fossils off me already. She is definitely a fossil lover. So, <sighs> we sold that little fossil wallet. It was in like brand new effing condition. Um, it, uh, yeah, she paid $25 with delivery. She's local. I always get kind of um, surprised when local people watch me just because I feel like I don't have a lot of local people watching me, even though I do have a lot of local people watching me. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to Daniel's to go pick him up. And then we're going to go thrifting. If you're new to this channel, I am Miss Philly. I am a thrifting channel, a reselling channel. We thrift, we resell. That is how we make our money. That is how we make our living. That's how we pay our um, bills. And YouTube, social media also. Social media, thrifting, reselling. That is our job. The new job of the millennial because we don't want a real job in the office. We are not office bitches, okay? If I have to be somewhere at a certain time, regularly, all the time, fuck to the no, I don't want to. Um, unless it pays like a minimum of $100 an hour. Just saying. <laughs> so these two bags I'm gonna pass on just because I feel like, I don't know, there's not, like this is a good price for it. Plus 20% off, but like the wear on it. And I kind of have a similar style bag already that hasn't sold, so we're gonna pass on that. This would have been a good bag, but there's just so much darkening on like the leather, especially the handle. But good price again, twenty dollars. I mean, it's not horrible. You're not gonna get this one. No. But it's just the handle bothers me. I love patchwork. It's just this. It's just very dark and but mm. yeah, you're worried about the handle the most. And this there's is the least of my concerns. But also that that's not fixable. It's a beater. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Miss Philly, and you can totally see the reflection in my sunglasses how I am recording, but that's okay. So we are doing the haul portion of the video. Um I don't even know if there's footage before this. If there is, I'll insert it. If there isn't, I just can't remember. If we go with today, today we thrifted a few t-shirts. Um, I wanted to utilize the $5 off a $30 purchase coupon that they sent out. Literally so many people sent it to me. It wasn't working on purses, which sucks balls, but so I couldn't really utilize it for purses. So I thought I would, you know, buy some t-shirts and we, we did. So this one I picked up, I was going to resell it myself, but then I was like, oh, maybe I should just give it to Daniel. It's more his market. Bathing Ape, it was $7, size large with the camel print and the ape on the front. So we got that one. And then we picked this one up. Um... I feel like it's giving me like rap tea vibes. It's Craig David. If you are a 2000s uh, era person, you know, I lived through the 2000s. I was like a teen and in my 20s in the early 2000s. So Craig David was a staple in my <laughs> CD burner playlist. But uh, yeah, Craig David, it says R&B, parental advisory. I don't know. This is... Craig David came out, I think, in 2000, so I don't really think this is vintage vintage, but it says made in RP. I don't know where RP is. It has a name on it, and it says Jimmy. <laughs> so it's more like a cutoff sleeve, I guess. Yeah, so like a tank top, but it's giving me rap tea vibes from the early 2000s. This one we picked up, Mickey Wear. It's a vintage t-shirt, single stitch, so it is vintage. There it is, like an XL. Very cute. And then we picked up this. Oh my God, guys. This is a Italian luxury fashion house, Ermenegildo Zegna. <laughs> Can you believe these t-shirts retail for over $800? Uh, 
crazy. And it's not, I think he has a, a line called Xenia, which is a more affordable one. But when he uses his full name, that's the luxury expensive one. So Ermenegildo Xenia. Made in Italy, 100% cotton. Somebody wrote on the back of the label, I don't know why, which is weird to me. It says like 640 something, 640A. It's so weird. Like, look at that. I don't know why would they would write on the label. Made in Italy, 100% cotton, very, very high quality, but hell to the no would we pay $800 for this. I don't know if I'm selling this. I just bought it because it brought back so many memories for me, but it is a Sony Walkman personal CD player with the over-the-ear headphones. Oh my God. $10 works perfectly. I tested it out, guys. It works perfectly. The LCD display works perfectly. Um, oh. <laughs> this is probably circa, I'd say 1999 to 2001. Uh, portable CD player. It plays, plays CDR and CDRWs. If you're, if you're old enough, you will remember that some CD players will only play CDRs and some won't play CDRWs. But the good ones, the more expensive ones, they they play the CDR and CDR and CDRWs. Uh, G protection. So <laughs> see, it's like that kind of like not fluorescent, but that kind of candy color. And look at the headphones. So headphones work perfectly, surprisingly. We pay $10 for it. Yay! Giving me Mandy Moore candy vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a few more things to show. Okay, where are we going here? Oh, I wish we found, but it wasn't there. I bought these because the cases are just so luxe and velvet. They're Gucci sunglass cases. Um, one is green, one is blue. They were $4 a piece. Oh, they're so luxurious. What can we repurpose this as? I don't know, a clutch? <laughs> it's so cute. I love them. And then we picked up this, the sack bag, crossbody. This was $5. Uh, probably going to sell it for $20 to $25. Very nice leather, very supple. Um, front zip pocket, back flat pocket. Yeah. The sack. This one was kind of cool. This is the patchwork collection from Coach. This one was $20. A um, little bit dirty in some places, like right here. Maybe you can see that. But I bought it for $20 because it is patchwork. It is a limited edition, no longer made. And a lot of people still like this, even when it's worn. So I got that crossbody bag oh it has a top handle too i almost passed on it because of the i think you saw it in the vlog it's a little bit darkened like on the handles so but we picked it up we'll probably sell this for 40 dollars, 35 to 40 i normally don't pick the, these up anymore but i did for the price and for like the quality of it it was 10 50 um and it's not even leather but i picked it up because i like the uniqueness of this i like that it's the horse and carriage symbol rather than the spell out I love like the denim look of the canvas. I love that it's double, double compartments. Usually it's single compartment. One, two, and then, yeah. And for 10 50, you can't go wrong. There's not any corner wear. Usually these get corner wear like crazy, but we got this cute little wristlet. And then we picked this up. Uh, <laughs> this is an amethyst. It was $10, I know. Crystals and rocks and shit can be super expensive. I don't know why, but it is. And it can be. Okay, let's cut this because the tape is annoying. Um, yeah, so this is amethyst. Amethyst is actually used according to Google. <laughs> Amethyst is used to rid yourself of toxicity, stressfulness, anxiousness, anxiety. That's what uh, Amethyst is used for, uh, to cleanse your body of negative energy. So that's what it looks like. And I've looked at these. I've looked at these on Facebook Marketplace. I've looked at these um, online on Google and they can be very, very pricey. So 
I don't know. Do you guys believe in crystals and rocks and shit? I, don't know. I feel like I do and I don't. Um, I carry a citrine with me in my bag, that little tiny one that Kier had given me. I want like a bigger piece of citrine for my for my like room, just you know. And I also want rose quartz because obviously money and love are two things that we're after. Well, this is good too, I guess. <laughs> but so we got that nice piece of crystal. And the last thing that we got, which is also already sold. Now, I was going to utilize this into my my business of uh, making high-end scrunchies out of repurposed luxury materials, but this is a Gucci blouse, 100% silk, made in Italy. Look at the detail on that. Um, when I looked online, the retail on these are like, oh, they're high. They're like in the thousands, like 1,000, 1,200. The crazy prints like these, the loud ones are in the higher, like 1,500, 2,000. Um, it's Gucci. And what I love about it is that Gucci is written on it all over the place, like right here. And that's why I thought it would, would make a perfect scrunchie. Gucci right there, Gucci right there on the chest. There you can see it's on the back, it's on the arm, like on the arm right here. Right there. So Gucci spelled out multiple places on it. Not only that, but also the uh, buttons, all of them are marked Gucci as well, which I thought would make, you know, would go well with the scrunchie if you put like a button on every single one. So, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, ten, 12 buttons because there's double buttons on the cuff right there. 100% silk, made in Italy, size large, Gucci blouse, a button up. Unfortunately, it already sold, <laughs> but I mean, it did sell for a good price. I sold it for $160, which I think is 100 100% fair. Like, look at that. Oh, just the colors are so vibrant. It's beautiful. It's so freaking high quality Gucci silk blouse. Oh, this would have been so cute on me if I was a size large gosh dang it but i love money more and i'm a reseller so i can't fall in love with my own <laughs> my own product oh look at that isn't that cute i love that the arms aren't short they're like long so that if you have shorter arms you could even just fold it you know like that oh this is such good quality sometimes this is probably one of the pieces that i regret selling but i have to this is how i make a living i who, who gonna pay my bills if i don't if i don't sell my shit right <laughs> But we sold it, and the lady who bought it is going to love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anywho, yeah, that's all that we got, guys. Um, it is the weekend. Um, I'm a little pissy because I was trying to do this business um, endeavor that I don't really care to talk about. But the, the fact of the matter is that I invested some money into it, and it ended up falling apart, which sucks because I hate wasting money. That is one of my biggest pet peeves but also part of being an entrepreneur and you know self-employed is you have to make risks you have to take risks you have to take risks and sometimes you're going to be successful sometimes you're not and unfortunately this wasn't that um but i just hate wasting money it was it was a good amount too like it's not a crazy amount but it was a it was it was a good amount and it was money that i could have attributed to something else but the way it looked to me that it was it was foolproof. It just, people involved in it were very unreliable. And um, that's why I kind of don't really want to work with anybody else anymore when it comes to like business and trying to be rich and successful because you can't rely on other people. People, some people don't see the big picture. Some people don't want to put in the hard work to be successful. And if you're rel relying on your success on other people, then you, the, the, um, the likelihood of it to succeed or not succeed is 50 50 because you're not only relying on yourself if you're relying on yourself you know you can put as much energy and focus and motivation and determination into the projects that you're doing but if when you're relying on somebody else you can't really make them do what you know what they don't want to do or what they can't do or you know so a lesson learned and i just have to just kind of really rely on myself, try to push myself, you know, into the stratosphere when it comes to success and, you know, financial everything, you know. Anyway, 
um, whatever it is, what it is. But the good thing is, is that it, it is a write off because it is, it was a business that I was trying to get into that didn't succeed that I invested money in. So come tax season next year, it is all going to be a write off, which in the end, I guess is good. But at the same time, I think be able to benefit from it, you know, <sighs> but definitely a lesson learned when it comes to being an entrepreneur and self-employed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I really didn't want to do like the video without my glasses on because I'm just feeling tired and my brows aren't done. My lashes aren't done. The lighting isn't good. So what needs to cover it up with sunglasses? <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those dreams because they will come true. Like this video, leave a comment. I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.